Welcome back to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so all right if you've been keeping up with me in all of my dating videos it's time to reveal the one that God has chosen for me so we've talked about the red flags we have talked about making sure he's not cray cray we talked about signs that he may be showing that he's possessive abusive that he isn't ready to leave his mommy that he still needs his mommy's permission to do things We've talked about finances. We've talked about keeping it real. We've talked about making sure he's godly. Just because he says, Lord, thank you for this food I'm about to receive, have already received and I'm currently receiving, does not mean he's godly. Check his fruit. And while you're at it, check your own fruit. Make sure you're matching what you're asking God for. We talked about avoiding sex. We talked about why you should avoid sex. And we talked about how to avoid sex. So now without further ado, I would like to introduce you all to the man that God has for me. Hold up. Bae! Come here. Okay, you all. The one is God. <laughs> God is the one. God found me. And I'm so glad he did. Now that we are single and we're waiting and waiting, spend this time working on yourself. You'll never get the time back like you have now to work on yourself. Yes, I've been single for five years, but guess what? I needed that time. I had been taken for since I was 17 years old, up until the age of 32. I needed time to heal, time to remove the layers of junk. Thank God for giving me the years to recover and heal. Now I can come into a relationship hole. Now I have something to offer. Now I'm a movement by myself. So now we can be a force when we're together. Now we can do something for ministry. Now I know how to choose a man because the Holy Spirit has taught me how to choose a man. Sit back and let God teach you how to choose a man or, or recognize knowing when that man has found you. Because ladies, I found out that a man is supposed to find you. You're not supposed to find a man. The word says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. I want to be a part of that favor. Guess what? That means when y'all are together, that overflow is going to flow on to you. Allow him to find you. Are you being that Proverbs 31 woman? It also says a virtuous woman who can find, there goes that word again, find. She is more precious than rubies. Are you more precious than rubies? Have you been working on yourself that you are, that you stand out, that you are completely different? Something else I learned too. I am so different and so set apart and so are you that your man is not going to be any old body. He's going to have to be different and set apart to match up with your character. Know your worth. So thank God again that you have this time to work on yourself. Build yourself up. Work on your character. Work on your integrity. Love yourself so that you do know how to love a man. Because a person who doesn't love their self can't properly love anyone else. But they're looking for respect and support. They, they're looking for someone who can pour into them. Are you healed? Are you whole? Are you able to pour into someone else? Are you his peace? Are you peaceful? I'm not telling you how to be in a relationship, but I'm telling you how to be successfully single so that you are ready for this godly man. Do you know how to pray? Thank God for this time by yourself because you're learning how to pray. You're spending time with God because you have that time. So that when you get with this man, that's something that you have to carry on with or without him. And are you ready to submit? Oh, some of y'all don't like that word, submit. But are you ready? Are you in a position where you know how to submit? And, and don't let that word scare you either because a man is supposed to be submitted unto the Lord. Therefore, whether his instructions are coming from the Lord, and the Bible also says that he's supposed to love his wife like Jesus loves the church and gave himself for him. And that don't mean you don't have a voice anymore. If he loves you like God, Jesus loves the church, he's going to consider your desires. Do you know how to go before the throne room for your husband? I think about Esther who, who fasted for three days so that she can go before her husband and it sa saved the whole nation. Do you know how to fast and pray to the Lord? Lord, show this man this. Do you know how to pray for him so that when he's gone, you're not nagging him, but you're praying over that bed. You're praying over that pillow so that when he comes home, you can be that peace. You're not standing over him while he sleep, just looking at him like, mm. No, you're praying for him. You're praying for y'all's bond. You're praying for your union. Do you know how to do that? 
Work on that. You have the time to work on it now if you don't. Bay know how to cook and Bay know how to fold clothes and Bay know how to clean the house, but does Bay know how to pray? Do you know how to pray? So thank God for the time that you learn these things. Thank God for the time. You're learning how to anoint your home. You're learning how to be that Proverbs 31 woman. And until you learn these things, this is strictly my opinion. God might send you somebody, but I feel like you're not ready. Until you learn how to do these things, you're not ready. You're not healed. You're not whole. I hear some people saying, all I need is a man or a woman. Then I'll be whole. Nope. All you need is God. Until you learn how to be content in the Lord and know who you are in the Lord, you're not ready for a godly relationship. Now, worldly, any old kind of relationship that's going to fall, yeah, you're ready for that. We're talking about godly relationships, though. Until I learned all of these things, I felt like I wasn't ready. I had bags full of stuff. I had suitcases, matter of fact. And I had to drop them junks off. I had to empty myself of all of these things and allow the Holy Spirit to teach me. So don't even let this be a cliche saying that if I find myself so deep with the Lord, then he will find me. No, no, no. Really go deep with the Lord. Like, really. Like, there's levels to this. Like, the more I learn about God, the higher I go, the more that is revealed, the more amazed I am. And I promise you, I, I forget. I forget all about the fact that I'm single. There are higher heights. He takes you from glory to glory. It doesn't stop. When you fall in love with the Lord and who he really is, when you really get to know him, he blows your mind. He completely blows your mind. So work on you. Work on that relationship with the Lord. Work on building that relationship with him, getting closer with him so you can handle everything else that's about to come your way. You can handle being a godly wife. You got a lot to learn and a lot to work on to be worried about some man he will find you he will find you but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you i never knew what that meant i never i heard that all my life and i never understood what it's what it meant till i started seeking seeking the things of the kingdom first so yeah we we all desire a man i mean we all get lonely sometimes but don't let that be your focus don't let that be your idol God is the one we're supposed to be worshiping. So really be about what you're talking about. Stop saying um, God first when God is not first. It's that need for that relationship is first. Really make God first in your life and watch how he starts to turn everything around for you. Watch how your focus starts to be something else that God wants. God's will and not your own. Work on yourself. Build yourself up in the Lord. Develop a fervent prayer life, a faithful prayer life, and the rest will come. So get healed, get whole, so you can help somebody. Like, subscribe, share, and be blessed.